Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with CF Pro Tools Sport, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use a new add-on called the 3-Step Ajax Step 1 uh, add-on, and that, is, that would be used with the 3-Step order form. So it's kind of an add-on to an add-on. So if you guys haven't already installed and are using the 3-Step accordion style order form, add-on that I've, I've used in the past. It's one with the big white house on it. Um, I would recommend go and check that add-on out. And make sure that you get that installed. What this one, what the Ajax Step 1 add-on will do for you is it actually allows you to, uh, when you click on Step 1 and actually submit information, it actually allows that information to be captured. So that way if you guys have like a, if somebody goes part of the, part of the way through um, and they don't end up finishing the order process you can capture their information and you it gives you an opportunity to use this little automation tab here and then what you would do is uh, actually have an abandoned cart sequence where it says saw page but didn't purchase you could actually add in emails here put a short delay on there and then send out a couple emails to say something like hey uh, noticed you left the cart with nothing in it and uh, did you need this whatever you want to put in there right put them on a small guilt trip or whatever right whatever gets the job done right um, get them back get them to order the order what was in their cart so let's uh, go in I'm gonna show you real quick how this works guys this is one of the simplest add-ons uh, all you have to do is configure it and literally just add it in um, so what I'm gonna do here is bring this over here and I've already uh, actually started searching it up. But if you guys were in here, you would go to your add-ons little area, and then you would click on create new. What you're going to do is type, start typing in three-step Ajax or uh, three-step Ajax step one. You click on that, and then uh, you're probably here actually looking at your add-on, or you're probably here looking at this video right now. Um, so like I said earlier, you will want to make sure you have that three-step order form already installed. Um, and then what you're going to do is just take this code. There's no configuration. We're going to call this Live Setup. And we're going to uh, click the Create Add-on button. And that's it, guys. We're going to come down here, grab that code, copy it out. Do a right-click copy or click the blue button to copy that. We're going to go back into ClickFunnels. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our settings. We're going to go to our tracking code. And then we're going to go to our footer code. And what we're going to do, this is a little, probably seem a little bit odd, but we're going to put the three-step Ajax code up here at the top and make sure that that one's first. And then the three-step order form is second. If you guys have order summary, um, I would have that uh, up here at the top. So that, that one is the first one to load from your footer code setting. Okay. So that's how that would work. I'm going to hit the save button, and then we're going to go do a uh, quick test on this. Just make sure that that works, uh, or, and you guys would see that way. You guys will see the uh, the code or the uh, contact information. Um, one thing I will do is test this with a live page. So what we're going to do is come down here, just add in uh, John plus one, I guess, at gmail.com, and then we'll click next step, and we'll go. Oh, uh, this looks cool, and then select a country. And then um, open that up, Australia. I already clicked next step. Oh, you know what? I realized I don't really want this. So at this point, um, guess what? John at johnplus1 at gmail.com is now already added into the system. So let's go look and make sure that that's the case. So we're going to go to contacts here and uh, John plus one. Actually, John at gmail.com was all also added as well um, probably when I was using this before so that's how that would work you can see that that was uh, added the contact was added and then what would happen is that uh, that would that's when it would allow that those automations to kick in so if no order was taken place what would happen is if no order took place it would send out an abandoned cart sequence if you had that set up inside of your automation sequence so that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you guys have any questions uh, definitely uh, please uh, send an email in to support and um, I'll do my best to help you guys out. Okay, thanks and I'll see you guys in another video